In 2023, more realtors have quit real estate than ever before. Interest rates are rising, buyers are leaving the market, sellers don't wanna sell. It takes more skill than ever to make it as a real estate agent. So in the next 10-ish minutes, I'm going to share with you how you can not only survive in this market, but thrive so that you can build a successful real estate business in 2024. Let's get into it. Hey, what's up? Welcome back to the channel. My name's Vena. I am a real estate agent and real estate investor here in Seattle, Washington. And today I'm sharing with you the transition that I made in my business back in 2021 that has not only doubled my business, but given me a lot more time and freedom back. And if you implement what I shared today, you can build up your business to be interest rate proof and scalable in any market. And in order to help you understand what I'm going to share, let me take you back to 2021 when I was a full-time real estate agent. I was spending a lot of time working with traditional buyers and sellers. I was working 60 to 80 hour weeks. I was going on listing presentations. I was showing three to five to 10 houses a day, just running rampant. And any new real estate agent who has done zero business yet might see this as a win because I have a lot of clients and I'm closing deals and I'm making money. And I was very successful. I was closing 20 plus deals a year, which here in Seattle equates to multiple six figures in commissions. And you're probably gonna start to think, Vena, I'm watching this video because business is not doing great right now. What is your point? Now, like I said, I was a full-time realtor from 2019 to 2021 in 2021 is when i found out about wholesaling the process of finding fixer properties off the market and selling them to investors for assignment fees selling flips to investors off the market there are no commissions involved you simply act as a middleman between the seller and the buyer now most of us in real estate have heard about wholesaling i thought this was kind of a scam before i did it myself i thought it sounded too complicated it didn't sound real i didn't see the benefit to either party. But to keep a long story short so we can talk about how you can implement this in your business, I did my first couple wholesale deals and I was hooked. I spent maybe five hours on my first deal and I made an $80,000 assignment fee. I put a property under contract for $370,000 with the seller and I sold that house to a buyer for $450,000. So I made an $80,000 assignment fee. And again, five to 10 hours worth of work. Right then and there, I realized that this could be a huge part of my business. I was out here selling, making average $16,000 commissions after showing buyers 20 to 30 houses or after competing against 10 other agents for a listing and then doing the work to put it on the market and then dealing with the buyer's agent, dealing with closing. Once I did my first wholesale deal, I was sold. So after doing my first wholesale, I ditched all of the prospecting that I was doing as a regular real estate agent and I focused 100% on off market. Now, how does wholesaling benefit me in a changing market? Don't the buyers and the sellers have the same issues with rising interest rates? Not really, and I'll tell you why. Most of the buyers I'm working with are cash investors. This means they're paying cash for the property upfront and they don't have to go get a loan from the bank. So right there, they're not concerned with the current interest rate and therefore, as long as the deal is good enough for them to buy on numbers wise, they can close and no one's thinking about rates. When I sell a flip to a buyer, they are thinking about rates in terms of what the property is gonna sell for after they flip it because interest rate is a factor in market value. But as far as buying the flip, they're largely immune. Dealing off market is also largely interest rate proof because ultimately people still need to sell their houses for whatever reason, no matter what the market's doing, some people still need to sell. And the great thing about wholesaling is that I'm normally wholesaling from sellers who have owned their house for 30 plus years. So it's paid off and they're gonna cash out of their house and then go buy their next house also for cash. So we're contracting with sellers who have a ton of equity in their house. We'll even help them buy on the back end with their cash. And then we're selling to investors who are paying with cash. And therefore the conversation about interest rates is largely less relevant than it is with traditional buy sell transactions. And this is gonna grow your real estate business because there is virtually no cap on how much you can make wholesaling. Like I said, I made $80,000 on a three, $400,000 house. I don't always make that big of a spread, but the advantage here is that assignment fees are not percentage based. They're based on how low you get the property for and what you sell it for to the buyer. So the benefits to you are you can make more, work less, and you can build your real estate business through this changing time in the market. So how do you start? Honestly, for real estate agents, you can start very, very simple. Dealing off the market always starts with prospecting directly to the homeowners. There are options to find motivated sellers online, whether you are buying leads or prospecting expires and for sale by owners. But really my preferred way is to pull distressed lists of property off of Property Radar. So Property Radar is a service that aggregates all the county records. If you're in real estate and you're pretty familiar with cold calling already, it's pretty much the same thing. Property Radar is a list builder. I go in and my secret sauce is I pull lists of property properties that have been owned for 20 plus years. They're older than 1990 and they have 80% equity or more. We're looking for high equity homeowners who have owned the home for a long period of time because that is the best indicator that they might be looking at selling soon. 
So we pull those lists off property radar, we throw them into a dialer or we hand dial them, and my team and I call them one by one and we ask when they may plan on selling. We've got a full wholesale script and system you can find in the links down below. We're looking for people who are motivated to sell off the market. Now, most homeowners aren't really familiar with the off-market process. A lot of them think they have to list their property in order to sell it, so that's already a valuable service from us that we're offering a better, easier solution for them. But the whole goal with cold calling is to call in our neighborhoods. I do this right in my backyard in the areas close to me, and I'm calling around looking for the people who are ready to sell. When I was totally new to wholesaling, I did treat this as a real estate agent still, where I told them that I had a buyer who was looking to buy. You know, the market is just so tough right now that we're just trying to find them something off the market. They're pre-approved with them loan and ready to go, which is a really good idea anyway if you have a buyer and you've shown them a bunch of houses on the market and they can't find anything they like or they keep losing offers, it's a huge value add for you as an agent to your buyer to prospect off the market for them. And if you go build a list and find your existing buyer a property off the market and you just charge them 3% commission instead of the usual six that they would do on the market, then everybody's happy, right? That's really the simplest way to get your foot in the door in the off market. The seller is going to be happy that they only had to pay 3% commission instead of the usual six. You're happy because you got a sale and your buyer's happy because they got an exclusive deal. So number one, by prospecting off the market, you can get your buyer's exclusive deals. Now number two, and this is where my personal business is here in 2023, 2024, is delivering investors good deals. Now here's the thing about investors. If they can get a property that hits their criteria or their buy box for what they want to buy and they see enough profit in the deal for them, they do not care how much you make on your assignment fee. Especially with all the news we're hearing today that buyers are going to have to start paying commissions and there's lawsuits and new forms to sign. In off-market wholesaling, not only does the buyer not even see how much you make, but nine times out of ten, they really don't care and they're happy to pay you your fee because you delivered them a good deal. And let me tell you guys now, working with investors can be a lot easier than working with traditional buyers because they're not emotionally tied to the house and they're only looking at it as a number. They're only looking at how much they can make on the property. They don't care if the backyard is big. They don't care if it's in the right school district. The biggest determining factor for them is can they make money on this? So if you can prospect off the market for good deals and deliver them to investors, you can make a lot of money in 2024. Now I told you how to find deals off the market. Really the biggest thing we do is cold calling with lists from Property Radar. We also do some door knocking, we send out mail, but largely our business does come from cold calling. And then how do we find our investors? I always say that if you have a good deal, it is not hard to sell it. You can find real estate investors on Facebook and real estate investment groups. You can find them at real estate investor meetups, which you can find on meetup.com or event Right. And if those two don't work for you, you can also find investors on Property Radar. They have a really convenient cash buyer list where it'll pull all the buyers who are buying distressed properties and you can buy the contact information, call the list and let them know that you are delivering good deals in the area. Now I keep saying good deals. How do we know that it's a good deal? I use what's called the 80% rule. If you can get a deal for 80% of the after repair value or the ARV, what it's going to be worth when it's fixed up, and then minus rehab, if you can get a house under contract for that number, you have a good deal on your hands. That's something that you should write an assignable contract with your seller and then go and assign that contract to an investor. Finding motivated sellers is the hardest part of the job, just like as a real estate agent, finding the clients is the hardest part because just like when you have a listing, you just have to put it on the market and let it sell. Once you have a good wholesale deal, you just have to shoot it out to your investors and let them come and buy it off of you. Like I said, this is largely interest rate proof and the best thing about wholesaling is that right now, investors know that we are at the bottom of the market. Interest rates are super high, so buyers don't wanna buy and therefore, sellers have to come down on their price. And the way I see it, my market prediction for 2024 is that as interest rates start to come back down, values are going to shoot up because all the buyers are going to come back just like they did in the pandemic. I don't think the level is going to be as crazy as it was back then, but contrary to what some people are saying, I think we are going to see values come way up. And so right now is a time for all the investors to get their good deals. So this is where you as the realtor with a new off market specialty comes in, you find the good deals off the market, the distressed properties, the properties that need a lot of TLC, they're totally worn down and need a facelift, match those properties with your investors. And not only will your business become interest rate proof, but as you get better at wholesaling, you can scale this up, create a business, 
and enjoy the fruits of your labor for many years to come. This isn't going away anytime soon. There are always gonna be people who need to sell off the market. There are always gonna be investors who want to buy off the market. And really for the level of work required to wholesale compared to working as an agent, it's minimal. It's not a walk in the park. There are lots of odd ends and little things that you need to know in the wholesale process. And I always do recommend partnering with an experienced wholesaler or flipper on your first few deals so that you can get those contracts, get that experience, have your hand held through the process so that you don't mess up and you get the highest assignment fee possible. And then once you've got your reps in, you can go on your own and do your wholesale deals. So that's my advice. Like I said, this is what I do here in Seattle. My team does 20 to 25 wholesale deals a year. I joint venture or partner with people here in Washington. If you're not in Washington, but you've got a really good deal and you just can't connect it with an investor, I can help with that too. Links in bio are below. I've got a free trial for Property Radar so you can check it out, build your list, get started, get in the game. Check out my other videos on wholesaling. Good luck in 2024. Let me know what you need to be successful. I wanna help you build your real estate business. Let's make this Monet and I will talk to you soon.